What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah, your favorite North Carolina realtor. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the video real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get my breakfast out so that I can start cooking. And I'm going to be telling you guys the pros and cons of moving and living in Charlotte, North Carolina after one week. Yesterday made one week for me living in Charlotte. And so far, I absolutely love it. I'm not gonna give away all of the things in the video because then like, what's the point of watching the whole thing? But I'm gonna start with the bad, okay? The first con of moving and living in Charlotte, North Carolina is the traffic. So I'm sure you guys, if you haven't, you know, um, if you've done your research, then you know the traffic here is kind of bad. Now, I have a pro that can make that better, but the traffic is bad. A lot of the times we get like stuck in like one little area for a while. It can be hard to get out of like intersections and stuff because there's not a lot of lights yet or turning signals. And I would say that is because there's a lot of development going on. So where you would think there will be a light at, they might be building like an apartment complex across the street and they could be waiting to build a light. So keep the, that in mind if you're moving or thinking about living in Charlotte. The second con is it can be really, really difficult to find a nice place to live if you don't go and see it first. So that's why you should like hire me. But anyway, shameless plug, when you're moving, make sure that you actually like see the place or you hire somebody to see the place for you. Because a lot of the pictures that you see online are not accurate, okay? So when I was looking for a place, we had went this neighborhood and it looked so nice in the pictures. And then when we got there, it was like they just painted the, the buildings and that was it. So keep that in mind, make sure that you actually go and see the area before you move in or you agree to move in. The third con is, this isn't really like a huge con for me, but it could be a con for some other people. If you live close to Charlotte International, then you could experience like a bunch of planes coming in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Not that they're like extremely loud, but you will hear them. So me, y'all know that I'm still active duty Air Force. I'm getting out soon. If you guys have been paying attention to my vlogs here recently, then you know that my time in the military is coming to an end. However, I don't have a problem with the planes coming in and out. Cause like, like I said, they're not like extremely loud, but I'm used to F-16s flying outside of uh, my uh, house. So either in my house or even when I was living in the dorms on base, they were like literally right outside of my, my, dorm, uh, my dorm room. So I would say if you're used to noise like that, then you're probably not gonna, you know, really, you know, mind it. But if you're not used to noise like that, if you don't like the sound of like planes, then you know I mean, you gotta visit the area so you can actually see for yourself. Me, I love seeing planes coming in and out. Like I have a balcony out here and you can actually see them. You can see what type of plane it is and everything. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into the pros cause we can't talk all about the queen city like that and just, you know, list out the cons. So some of the pros to me are, there are so many headquarters here. There's a bunch of banks. And as an entrepreneur, as someone that is, very passionate about like financial literacy, then I feel like it's extremely good that there are so many lending institutions here, banking institutions, headquartered here that can open you up to different opportunities. So keep that in mind when you're moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. Another pro is things are not far. So for me, I typically have to drive about like maybe nine, 10 minutes, but that could just be because of the traffic. It could, it, I'm sure it's a lot shorter than that without like a bunch of traffic, but it doesn't take me long to get anywhere. And there's always like a grocery store, Walmart, gas station. Like there's always something extremely close to you so that you don't have to go too far. Another pro that I was trying to tie that con with is that there, isn't like a huge need to like fill up your car a lot. Unless you're driving like crazy and you're like going all over the place, you're driving all day. Okay, that could be different. But me, I haven't had to fill up my gas tank since 
what, last Thursday and it's Friday of the next week. So for me, that's really good. Do you know how much it costs to fill up cars nowadays? I mean, I haven't heard anybody saying like, oh, gas prices and stuff like that, but still, like, you know, nothing is cheap nowadays. So it's like gas, I haven't had to fill up my car because I haven't really been, like I've been going places, but like if I do go somewhere and it's like 30 minutes away because of the traffic, my gas tank or my gas hand really doesn't move. So that's really good. Another pro that I've noticed for those of you that have families is there are a bunch of schools around here. So you would have to, I don't have children yet. I do want to have a baby here soon. Um, probably I want to start my intimidation process this year, but I'm saying if you guys have a family already, if you have children that are school age, then there are plenty of schools around here that you can pick and choose from. There's a lot of like academy, public schools. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of private schools around. I'm not sure exactly like which ones they are, but that you have a lot to choose from. You don't have to just send your child to one particular school a bunch of things to do. So one thing that I've been trying to do is to make sure that I'm meeting one new person every single day. Like the other day I went to Spectrum and I met a guy, I think his name, his name was Noel. And he was really, really nice. And I've been working on, you know what I mean? Building up my network, building up like, you know, my friend list here. That way that, you know, it's not like I don't know anybody out here. So there's always a bunch of people that you can meet. Now you can't, like, I wouldn't say like, just be going out here willy nilly and just like talking to any old person that's like, you know what I mean? Cause you gotta make sure that you're like remaining safe. But there are a bunch of people here that have very, very nice hospitality. They are extremely nice. Another pro, oh my gosh. So, and this might be the realtor in me, but there are so many beautiful homes that are going on the market or that are currently being built. Like they are, if I can find some pictures, I will post them, but they're like white with like black accents and like, and this this is like my personal style. Like I, I like um, homes that are built in the pictures that I'm gonna post, but they have like the wood accents and stuff. I love that. Like it's so beautiful and if you're into like a little scenic like you know what i mean just a chill drive like just going through the neighborhoods and like looking at all of the nice houses like i think that's a pro for sure another pro there are a bunch of new homes and apartments all kinds of different stuff there's a bunch of new places that are being built here so that means that the city is still growing and that leads you to more opportunity so if you feel like you're like me i'm from a small town called louise county virginia we have three stoplights two or three stoplights and there i'm not going to say that there wasn't a bunch of opportunity but i mean for me i didn't feel like there was a ton of opportunities for me personally however moving here to Charlotte, it really wasn't like a, a, a second thought for me. Like I knew that there was a bunch of growth coming to the city. I knew that there was gonna be a bunch of opportunities coming to the city and I wanted to be a part of that. Like I'm proud to call Charlotte my home now. And another con, or another pro, excuse me, another pro is that it's kind of, it's centrally located. So I'm originally from Virginia. So it's about four hours and 40 minutes from my mother's house. So that can easily be like a day's drive, like, or not even a whole day's drive. And then I could come back if I wanted to and it'd still be daylight. It's about two or three hours from the beach. There's mountains really close. There's a bunch of different things to do. And even if you don't necessarily want to live in the Queen City or Charlotte, North Carolina, there are cities or towns on the outskirts that you can definitely move to too and still experience the Queen City within a reasonable amount of time. So you can get to Charlotte, like the, the actual, like you can get to the skyline within probably 30 minutes from the outskirts of the border of Charlotte. So, and if we're talking about the entire Mecklenburg County, like there are a bunch of different places that you can move to. Like I've met people that live in Concord. I've met people that live in Gastonia, Statesville. Like I've met a bunch of different people that live in all of these like surrounding areas and they're all extremely nice and they're within a close proximity. So if you're worried about like trying to find housing in the Queen City, first of all, I'm gonna help you if you need me because you guys are my family. But if you feel like 
maybe Charlotte isn't the right, like the actual city of Charlotte isn't the right fit for you, then you can definitely move to some of those outside um, count or outside uh, towns and you would still be able to experience the Queen City because you're so close. So I would say don't, you know what I mean? Don't count it out, you know what I mean? But you still will be able to have just as many experiences as if you lived here. Another pro, and this is probably gonna be the last one, but I think it's extremely important and it contributes to, first of all, the growth and it contributes to the cost of living here, in my opinion. Charlotte is literally like right on the border of North Carolina and South Carolina, okay? So if you live or if you work in South Carolina, but you wanna live or buy a house in North Carolina, then I think that's an extremely good idea. So living in South Carolina, I have a rental property down there right now, but South Carolina has an investment tax. If you can't get the house for the right deal in South Carolina, then it can be kind of like, you know, if, it, if the numbers don't make sense, then it can kind of make any, first of all, any deal, if you don't have the numbers right, it can not be worth it. But with the investment tax, it makes it even harder to come out with a profit because it goes from four to 6%. When you're living in Charlotte or if you have an investment property or, you know what I mean? If you have a property in, in North Carolina, but you just work in South Carolina, then that means that you don't have to pay the extra investment tax. So I would make sure that you consider that, but you also consider there could be state and um, local taxes. So just, you know, be cognizant of those factors. But when you have a realtor like me, it doesn't really matter. And when you have somebody on your side rooting for you like me, it doesn't even matter. You're like, I'm gonna take care of you because I'm your worry free, your favorite, your favorite North Carolina real estate agent. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. I hope this video helps some of you, if you're deciding to move to the Queen City or if you're planning to relocate to Queen City, I really, really hope that, you know what I mean, you take all of my pros and cons list and apply it to your decision to move here. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to your channel, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.